you know, we, we played Michigan State. And, I, you know, these back-to-back matches are really interesting. You know, the life of, 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 a, of a weekend is, uh, you know, we played, we played Michigan State on, on Friday. And, um, you know, what that match was, you know, uh, it, uh, it was a serve-receive, serve-serve-receive uh, battle. We set two, we sided out uh, on Friday night at 100%, which is not something that happens uh, too many times against Big Ten competition. And then the third set, we were at 78%. Um, and so very fast match, uh, a lot of serve and pass, first ball kill. And then uh, Saturday, totally different uh, type of match. It wasn't necessarily a serve and pass game as, uh, on our end as much as it was a transition game. Uh, you know, a lot of rallies, a lot of stuff blocks, a lot of uh, good positive touches, great backcourt defense. Um, you know, we hit well north of 300 on, in transition on Saturday while struggling uh, in our transition game on, on Friday. It, but uh, uh, it's just interesting how one match is a, uh, is a first ball side out match and another one's a, a transition game. Um, but we, we got ourselves in a, in, in a heck of a battle on Saturday with Michigan State, losing the third set after uh, pretty much uh, dominating the first two sets. And, um, and then game four, we're, you know, we're fighting and scrapping for our lives to try to find a way to, to, to win that. And really proud of, of the way that our, our team grinded and stayed with it and, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and battles. And that's, that's what that is. Uh, no panic from anybody, just trying to find solutions. And um, we've got Nebraska this weekend. So it's playing one of the best teams in the, the conference. It's been a little bit of time since we've, we've, we've done that. And, and I, know, uh, uh, I know our players are certainly looking forward to, to this test. We have a question from Dennis. So you mentioned Nebraska. I know just the start of your week to prepare for them. But just big picture, playing that team, you beat them three times last year, and they're one of the giants in your sport. What is uh, it like when you face each other? And you, you know you're going to do that every year. You know, I, it's you go back and you watch those matches, <clears throat> you know, and, and you look at the scores, you know, it, you could sit there and say, all right, th those were three O's, or you could sit there and say just about every set was decided by two or three points. You, you know, I mean, that's a, uh, um, th those were extremely, extremely close sets uh, of last year that, that we were playing against those guys. And so, you know, last year's last year, you know, that it's two teams with an awful lot of experience. I think anybody that saw, you know, the Huskers uh, on Saturday. I mean, it's two teams that have really high ceilings, and um, you, you know it's um, you know. But I think both teams have have a little bit of issues and some things that they're trying to figure out and and learn. And there's some opportunities for growth uh, for both teams. But the ceilings are really high. Uh, they looked awfully awfully good on on Saturday. We know that they're capable of it, but. It's, uh, you know, when the two teams get together, it's usually some really good volleyball. I'm sure, uh, you know, this will, uh, the numbers on Big Ten Network off, should be awfully, awfully high to watch this, I'm sure. Question from Brian Posick. Radio ratings will be good too, Kelly. Hey, um, uh, <laughs> Molly Haggerty, how's she doing? And uh, do you expect her to play this weekend? And, and secondarily, I guess, if Jay Dems plays like she's been playing, I think you might be okay until Molly's ready to go, right? Yeah, I mean, we anticipate having Molly back. It's a, um, you know, but we'll, you know, we'll see. We're, you know, we're not going to, that's one of the things with, with a little bit of depth is you, you don't need to, uh, you know, people aren't feeling like they've got to be forced to, to get back in, you know, and so, um you know, it's uh, we're certainly a, a, a better team with Molly in the lineup. I don't think there's any question about about that. So, you, you know, you, you have a you have an All American on the sideline. It's uh, um, you know, so we certainly uh, hoping to get her back sometime soon. Jade Jade was really good. You know, really solid and 
you know, and, and uh, what she was asked to do, hit for a really high percentage. I'm not uh, not even sure she had a hitting error. You know, that was a uh, she got about 50 attempts on on the left pin, and um, you know, I, typically when you're seeing the top outsides in, in the country, when they go through a season, they have a hitting error percentage of about 13 or 14 percent, right around there. You know, and for her to go through a, a weekend without a, you know, a, a single error is is uh, pretty remarkable. No matter who you're doing it against, and um, uh, you know, and then have a hitting percentage of probably north of 500 against a Big Ten opponent. That was that was a pretty good weekend debut for. Her. Um, you know, she's got to continue to work on her game. You know, and uh, and she will. But that was that's certainly something that ought to be giving her a little bit more confidence and. Uh, and drive her more, you know, of, of uh, I, I would expect after this weekend to see a, uh, an even more driven Jay Dimps once we get into practice tomorrow I mean, that, you know, to feel like, Hey, I can really contribute right now. I'm not the future. I've got some opportunities to, to really help this team this year. Uh, I would expect to see maybe her best, best week of practice ever uh, going into this week. Uh, we have another question from Dennis. And, uh, Dana had uh, 13 swings in each of those matches at Michigan State. Um, her her hitting percentage is above what she's done in the rest of her career, but her attempts are down a little bit. Is that the diversity you have for, of hitters? Is it uh, ball control? Is it just the way maybe points play out while she's in the front row with errors and whatnot happening? I think it's a combination of all those things. You know, yeah, of, of trying to trying to develop some other people, you know, in some big moments. Um, it's, uh, you know, I, I think you saw something yesterday where, you know, I think Grace was hitting zero for, for most of the match and, uh, and really kind of had a, a, a tough match for part of it. And, and uh, uh, Michigan State started, they were loading up a little bit more on the middles when she was in the front row, especially Dana, uh, with that rotation that, uh, with a couple of the, she's up there, they're up there together twice. And, um, you know, so they're loading up on Dana. I'd say probably in the past, Sydney would probably just, you know, feed her, you know, and, and keep going to her, even though that there's two blockers on her because another hitters had a tough match. Uh, but she kept going to Loberg. Loberg gets five kills, hits 333 in the fourth set, and had some really big ones the last 10 points. And um, uh, I think that's developed over trust, you know, and, and trying to make sure that you're keeping defenses honest. Uh, part of it this week, or not this week, and Friday, I thought we passed the ball pretty well. Saturday, we, we kind of struggled a little bit of it. So some of that might have had to do with, with our ball control um, uh, on Saturday. Um, I'd say it's probably a combination of all those things. It's certainly not something we're concerned with. And I, I'll tell you the last per person that's least concerned about it, I can tell you is Dana Recchi. It's uh, I guarantee she's not looking at how many attempts she's got. You know, I, one of the things about Dana is I thought Saturday was her best blocking match of, of the week, regardless of how many stuff blocks she got, she just moved really well, got some uh, really good touches, uh, you know, coming back and watching the film. Uh, from Friday, I thought she was really, really good at the net on Saturday. 